Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the John Moore Show. This is Tim Spencer sitting in for John. Today is Tuesday, the 16th day of January in the year of our Lord, 2018. Our guest for the second hour is Mr. Leon Green. I've been pre-briefed on what we're going to talk about, which is 12 bad strategies uh, that will get preppers killed. Are you on the line, Leon? I am, good sir. Good morning, Leon. I am doing good. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Okay. Uh, I got an email here with a link, <clears throat> and it went to 12 bad strategies that will get preppers killed. I read it yesterday, and guess what, Leon? I agree with every one of them. <laughs> yes, I thought that was pretty provocative. Yeah, it was. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to go through each one of them, or uh, what, do you want, what do you want? Yeah, why don't we get maybe the top three that, that you like the most, and then if you have more time. But uh, I, want, I want to see which ones you think are the most prominent and uh, okay. are most salient. We can maybe talk about the oils and how we can use them to, um, to assist those people. Okay. Well, the number one one is the one that I see the most often, where it says, I'll just hunt and live off the land. Now, without reading what they write about it, uh, I'll tell you real quick what I think about it. I think it'd be like the first day of deer season, where, you know, the deer are thick, but once the hunters are in the woods, you don't find them. Now, here we eat a lot of deer meat. Most of the time, especially in the past year, it's meat given to us. I'm kind of having a hard time going out hunting right now. But, uh, you know, the, the deer and the turkey and even the squirrels aren't going to last long if everybody's out there hunting. You know, one, they're going to go deeper in the woods. Two, uh, if everybody's out there hunting because they're hungry, uh, you're just going to eliminate the population. What do you think, Leon? Absolutely. I've, I've heard, I'm not sure if this is a legend or a myth, but and during the Great Depression in the 30s, that the U.S. deer population was almost entirely extinct. Well, I know for a fact that here in Missouri that is true. In fact, they had to import deer. And uh, now the whitetail population is uh, really, really blossomed out. Uh, you know, we have some incredibly big deer here. But I don't think it'd take but a week or so, and there ain't nobody getting it here. You know, I, I, I right. that's in this kind of a, I said, I really think within a week or so of everything going bad, there probably won't be any deer available out there to take. So that's the reason uh, I advocate canning meat. Yes, sir. I, I agree with you. Um, and it, it would be, and I, I've not, I'm not canned meat. I've done, I've done jerky and biltong and things of that nature, and, I, and I've dressed that and processed game, but. Those are skills oh, yeah. that people should fire now as compared to waiting until things go south because when you get squeamish and all the blood and how to get rid of the awful and all the other uh, body parts, you know, now is not, right. the, not, you know, then it's not the time to try to try to figure it out. Well, I agree. You know, here, you know, I'll be honest with you, we take a deer and we've got to, you know, once we get back to the house in less than 15 uh, sometimes 20 minutes, but usually less than 15 minutes. You know, we've got it quartered and ready for it to start, you know, slicing and dicing and putting it in freezer paper, putting it in the pot to can, or, you know, for us, it, it's, it's a daily thing. We can do hogs, we can do calves, cows. Cows are a pain in the butt, by the way. Uh, pigs, which <laughs> I hate the smell, but I can do it, you know. Uh, you know, this is something we literally do all the time. So we're lucky, but I can understand how people that aren't used to it would first probably be a little bit squeamish, second, not know what they're doing. Uh, it'd be a pain in the butt. It truly would for, for somebody that didn't know. You know, of course, yes, after sir. all the years, you learn little tricks like, you know, uh, pruning, shear, not pruning shears, but the lopper you use for taking off good-sized branches or pruning your trees or whatever, I mean, those things work great for, you know, dropping leg bones in a hurry, you know, clip, 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 you're done. Uh, you yes, know, sir. little tricks like that. 
And, and the, I agree with you. And then the next thing I think about is when I, when I see w- one of those um, mistakes is, you know, they will um, pretty much be an army of one. And a lot of times right. people forget they have to... Sw- <laughs> and if they get hurt, then they're really out of luck. So, You know, that was the next one I was looking at, number four. I don't need a group. I'm going to go it alone. You know, folks, if you really believe that... Uh, I feel for you. You know, yeah. we. I'm lucky enough to have a very large family here on the farm. You know, as a family, we could go it alone. But I also know most of my neighbors, not all of them, but most of them. And, uh, you know, all, with the exception of one, probably, they're all good people. And uh, it helps to have a community. It truly does. Uh, yes, you know, I think we're man- you know, you look at Book of Eli, uh, Le- Le- Legion, um, I Am Legend. You look at those movies yeah. and the guys are like, yeah, I have my toys. I can walk, you know, across the United States and like in the Book of Eli, he walks all the way to San Francisco. And so when you when you think about that, you know, guys like the romance there, but, you know, it, it's going to be, you have to sleep sometime. And if other people have night vision and thermal on you, they can they can stalk you and find you, so it's it's very oh yeah. Easy. Yep. Well, you know the other thing I read in here <clears throat> on this list, Leon, was uh, basically I, I I'm a paraphrase. I'm not on it right now, but uh, we're you know basically you shoot anybody you see that comes up to your place. You know that's just absolutely the wrong way to do it. Uh, right. You know, people, people like that, you know, there, there, there'll be repercussions either in this life or the next. You know, if somebody yes, comes up here, I don't know, in that kind of situation, you know, I will have two or three rifles covering me, but I'm still going to go talk to the person and find out what's up. They make a, move, a wrong move, they're dead, yes, but I'm not going to automatically take out anybody I see coming up here, you know. Eventually, society will come back together. It always does. And, uh, you know, there will be repercussions, you know, for people to do that kind of stuff. Um, and anyway, I don't know. What, what What's your three favorites on this thing? Or are we in agreement on which our three favorites are? Yeah, I pretty much agree with that. The... Um what I really want to focus on is how, when things go south, I mean, what what are your biggest con- how you can use the oils to benefit you? So, what are your biggest concerns? Infection? What would you say in a in a I work, would say good infection would be my personal biggest concern. You know, I, I just got out of the hospital, Leon. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, I had that MRSA infection in my stump where they cut off my leg. Uh, you know. My biggest problem was the majority of the time I couldn't use any oils directly around it or near near everything because, you know, most of the past six months I've had what's called a wound back hooked up, or not the past six months, uh, but, uh, you know, basically from March to September when they decide to take my leg. Uh, which, which is the best oils for infection, Leon? Because I really don't know. Um, and like John always says, you know, grab the book if you have it as a reference. But the, the most important ones for overall infections and for prevention is On Guard. Now, once you are infected, then you do something like On Guard Plus, which has those five oils in On Guard, which is a proprietary blend of doTERRA, and that has clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and wild orange. But On Guard well, Plus. I'm have to get has some of that. Yes, sir. And On Guard Plus has black pepper, melissa oil, and oregano. And oregano is highly, it's a super antibiotic. There's two of them that are super antibiotics. And that is cinnamon and oregano oil. And so oh, if you okay. have both of those, we'll cover all four vectors. So bacteria, viruses, mold, and parasites, all four of them. So whether the parasites come wow. from the pig or the 
So those two are the ones that I get on a, uh, you know, there's 80 plus oils, but I get those two once a quarter, no ifs, ands, or buts because of how important right. they are. And so. Well, I could absolutely are, understand that. Yes, sir. So for infection, those, those would be crucial. So I take on guard daily, two drops in the morning, two drops at night. I think it's a total of like 15, 15 cents for those, those total drops. And okay, now are these time. are these drops the ones yes. you put under your tongue or? Yes, sir. But if you if they're, if they're too strong for children or people who are, you know are sensitive, you can put it on your wrist. And so even though you were talking about that stump, the stump you have, or yeah. had, yeah. what you can do is you can put oils on your wrists, and it will get in your bloodstream and still circulate throughout your whole body. It's more advantageous to be able to kill them faster, right at you know right where you see the MRSA ooze. And so, yeah, I understand that. But even when you do the dressing of the bandages, you pull them off, you irrigate, and um, they use saline rinse. And then once it's once it's dried, you can put the oils directly on them. So what's nice about the oils, they do not interact and have any contraindication with drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, be, be they right. um, antibiotics, whatever. So you can use them nonstop. And when you're dealing with an infection, like On Guard Plus, when I have people who say, yeah, I've been on a plane, I was on a cruise ship or whatever, I've been around 3,000 people and they were sick, then I tell them, use On Guard Plus. You know, use that every half hour. That's how, that's how important it is because the number of people, between 20 and 40,000 people die each year from MRSA infections alone. That's methylacin resistant, oh, staphylococcus. Yes, sir. I mean, I've, I've had a woman, she got infected from the hospital. She went in for a routine um, examination, and she got infected. The doctor said, yes, I gave it to you. There's nothing you can do about it. You're going to die with it. That was his bedside manner out in Grand, Grand. Um, I'm sorry, in Grand Junction or Delta Hospital. That was his his bedside manner, and I was just flabbergasted. Wow. And then we used a certain batch of oils with on her, and, and she'd had it for 14 years. And within three months, it was gone. So the oils are very, very powerful. And many people underestimate them, and it just blows me away. And, and just like Hosea 4, 6, I always, I always realize those people, he says in, in the Bible, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Right. I can absolutely understand that right now. You know, Leon, I didn't even know I had this infection uh, until, you know, I'd say a day before I went to the doctor, and, of course, they put me in the hospital the next day. But, you know, I had no idea I had this MRSA bug. And apparently, according to the doctor I had here, I probably had it a long time. But now yes, all of a sudden all the wounds that wouldn't heal are healing now that I've had it treated. Yes. And, and yes, MRSA is very prevalent. Many people think, well, it's, it's staphylococcus. Oh, yes, it's just a bacteria, it's a bacteria that will... That gets airborne. It's in the water and it's on food. Staff is right. very prominent. Many people think it's oh, it's only in bad neighborhoods or you know seedy restaurants. No, it's everywhere. Right. And if, if so, you use the oils as a prophylactic, as a prevention, so you don't get sick. And so, when I woke up, I turn off my alarm clock and I reach for the oils. I do that every morning when I go to sleep. Do the same thing to help me sleep better. So, when I when I see people. And it's just like, it's just us like trying to lead them to the Lord. They may think, think, think they know it all, but they, um, you know, their ignorance is going to, is going to impact them in the life thereafter. So you, you want to help yeah, them. As they say, they don't know what they don't know. Yes, sir. And so it, this is very simple. I mean, the, the book, you know, the one we talk about all the time, Modern Essentials, is an awesome book. It addresses 99% of all the, the average or the main issues people deal with. Now, when you get some of these heavy metal chelation or heavy metal diseases and, you know, prions and things like that, then it gets a bit more advanced. But for the most part, it'll address every issue humans have in the, in that book. Right. And, and so you have a manual for your night vision or for your rifle or how to can meat. You know, this manual is very simple, but it addresses everything from babies in the womb to fertility, to puberty, to senility, all the way to the grave. And it, it addresses the whole stage of humanity. So 
And, and it even works for livestock and dogs and cats with parasites. So you can use them with your chickens and when you're cooking. So there's so many benefits. But, you know, a, a lot of times I, I get... You know, I get disenchanted or disappointed because I try to help people and they don't want to help themselves, and it's just like, wow. And I just, I just have to say, thank you, Lord, for the blessing has been in my life. And I will continue to help others that want to be helped. Right. Well, you know, Leon, I, I act, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. I understand what you're saying. I, I truly do. You know, Lori and I are the same way. We try to help people that we can. Uh, Boy, you know, I'm not saying that, hey, look at me or hey, look at you, but I think overall in life, if we help others, we just feel better, period, you know? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not very articulate to what I'm trying to say on this particular point, but uh, I understand. I'll, I'll put it like that. I understand what you're saying, and Lori and I try to do the same thing. Good. So... Okay, now, getting back to the oils, you mentioned one thing, prions, okay? Uh, diseases like uh, Kreutzfeldt Jakob or Kreutzfeldt Jacob, however you want to say it, uh, that's a prion-related disease. Now, uh, I'm curious, my own personal curiosity, which one of the oils, or, or is it the oregano and cinnamon, that, uh, that prevent those kind of diseases or, or make people more resistant to them? Well, see, I, I have not done any research, and I have not you know, I contacted Dr. Hill about that. But if I would venture to say, if, if I had to speculate, I would say that those two, along with Melissa, Melissa is highly antiviral. It's a miraculous one. Um, okay. But it, it, that can be... Um, CJD um, can be can be hey, easily Leon, I think I hear the music, buddy. Can, can you hang on for three minutes, and we'll get right back no at problem. it as soon as the break's over. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, J.R. Moore here. It's taken three years before I could offer the inter-shelter domes for sale. During those three years, several different governments and militaries were taking all their production. The inner shelter dome homes may be just what you've been looking for to provide affordable, energy efficient, permanent, and attractive housing. These dome homes are prefabricated units that can be assembled in a few hours by two men with a ladder and simple hand tools. Check out the photos of these dome homes built in the Arctic, on tropical beaches, in suburban areas, and in forests. All the details, Many photographs and the pricing of the dome homes are listed on the left-hand side of my homepage at thelibertyman.com. I think you'll find these homes are not only attractive, but they're energy efficient and a bonus. You can disassemble them and reassemble them as many times as you feel you need the need to. Pretty great, huh? Something that's very, very unique. Check them out at my website at thelibertyman.com. Thank you. Again. Okay, that was into the music. Okay, fantastic. Anyway, folks, we are visiting with Mr. Leon Green, distributor of doTERRA essential oils. Uh, fantastic products. Uh, Leon, we were talking uh, about, uh, you know, the oils for fighting off various diseases. Uh, you know, with this big flu outbreak they're having where they have people in the halls of the hospitals and standing room only in emergency rooms, uh, what would be your oil pick uh, for fighting off the flu? Well, if it's your own community, your own family, I would isolate the infected person. It's just like quarantine. Right. You don't want them to get worse, and you don't want them to infect the rest of the family. 
So the whole family's picking up. So that's just correct. like they did with I agree. Yeah, com- people coming to America, they used to isolate them or quarantine them in um, in Ellis Island to that's protect right. the population. And quarantine sure them came from forty days, and so in Venice they would do that to protect you know the 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 entire population. So the same way here, I'd isolate them if it was homebound. Um, and so in this case, the oils that are effective depending on the type of flu. If it's um, if it's a viral based right. uh, flu, if, then <coughs> excuse me. In that case, breathe oil is phenomenal for opening up and uh, clearing out the, the the respiratory system and the bronchial cavities. It also will kill the bacteria and viruses inside the the alveoli. Whereas if, if the person's already sick, that's when you go straight to On Guard Plus. And you take it to gel cap. It has those oils we talked about earlier, which and that proprietary blend is very effective. And there's even scientific studies on PubMed.org and PubMed.gov that describe how effective On Guard is against viruses and bacteria and they even surpass the antibiotics that humans can access in the hospitals without going to the crazy experimentals that have insane side effects. And so if you go to a bed, you can actually type in On Guard and you'll see the study and how effective it was in killing all these various bacteria and viruses. So with the people in the hospitals you know, standing room only and, and on, on gurneys and things of like that. Nature, isolate them. They would be taking those. Um, as long as it's only a respiratory issue, then you just focus on the breathe. You can put in a CPAP machine. You can rub it on your chest. There's even a roll-on, which you can roll it on, and it will continue wow. to diffuse off your into your nose. Now, if you don't have a diffuser, you can just wipe, you know, the, a drop or two of breathe on your nostrils. I always... Uh, even out here, the, the guy who uh, was on the cruise ship, he got sick, and you know he doesn't he doesn't know about DoTerra at all. But he got to see some benefits yesterday, and he he asked me right before the night was over. He said, "What do you have for for his issue?" And I gave him some oils, and I'm going to see him in about 20 minutes, and we'll talk about it. But um, but when you do the oils on a regular basis, as in like every 30 minutes, once an hour. Right, your body will absorb those, and they will be able to. They will go into your bloodstream, and within five minutes, a drop of oil will be able to to attach to every cell in your body. That's how effective the bloodstream system is, and wow. because of that, the oil so small they can go right through the skin. They can. They also when you breathe them in, they go right through the. Um, cell walls right into the bloodstream to the alveoli and the bronchial tubes right into the bloodstream that way. So then if you do it sublingually, that's the fastest way to get anything into your blood system short of an injection. So if you put it under right. your tongue, just hold, don't swallow it, just hold it for 30, 40 a minute. It'll go through the, the, the blood vessels under your tongue. If you look in the mirror right now, you can see the red and blue blood vessels. And those are the most salient vessels that you can see that you can get to the bloodstream. So it is extremely effective to use the oils in, in this flu and this respiratory crisis. So, you know, people are, you know, they forget about all the side effects of how many people die each year. Over a quarter million people die from side effects from drugs alone. These are man-made drugs. Oh, yeah. Because there's, but they don't, you know, they don't, they don't think about that. And I've, I've talked to so many people at gun shows and survival shows. One woman said, my father went in for a knee replacement. He got MRSA there, and then he died, and we buried him six days ago. And I told him how effective the oils were against MRSA, and she looked at me and just wanted to cry. And I looked at her, and it was like, without you really looking and searching and learning, you lost your father needlessly. I didn't want to say it to you, but I could feel that. Well, no, you don't want to that. tell people that to their face. And, you know, like you said, lack of knowledge. You know? Yes, sir. And, and, of course, I'm guilty of the same thing. I didn't even know I had this infection. Yes, you know, uh, I understand. And so, but if you go to a hospital, assume you have MRSA. That should be the assumption of everybody right. listening to this call. 
Hospital All right, Fire it's Mercy. time for our okay. bottom of the hour break. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in four minutes. You are tuned in to the Republic Broadcasting Network. Visit our website by going to republicbroadcasting.org. Ladies and gentlemen, J.R. Moore here. We're continuing our energy cleaner promotion, which began August of 2016. In this promotion, you get to buy an energy cleaner, $70 off retail, and a mattress pad, 10% off retail. $200 of the purchase price of the energy cleaner goes to Republic Broadcasting. This is a great way to help get energy cleaners out to people who need them and have some uh, financial issues to deal with. And, of course, a great way to support Republic Broadcasting. Here's what you do. Send in a postcard. My address is John Moore, P.O. Box 201, Davidsville, Missouri. We pick a postcard every two weeks. If your postcard is drawn... Uh, you get the chance to buy the energy cleaner $70 off retail and 10% off the mattress pads. Put your name and your address, your telephone number and your email address on the postcard and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today is Tuesday, the 16th day of January, year of award, 2018. We are visiting with Mr. Leon Green. Leon, we have a caller on the line. We have Scott in Arizona. Good morning, Scott. Scott, good morning. Well, uh, I just got back from India. And wow. Before we... Yeah. <laughs> before we left, you know, everybody in the church prayed over us. And then, uh, we went there, and the entire time I had in my pocket On Guard, Frankincense, and Digestion. Like with On Guard, we, you know, do our hands numerous times a day after, you know, contacting right. various, you know, going in bathrooms and stuff like that, right? Or doorknobs and all that. And, mm -hmm. uh, do a few drops in a glass of water, the frankincense and in a on guard. And we went I mean that place is open sewage. It's right. Disgusting. You know, they throw their garbage or plastic two or three feet thick everywhere. You just put, there's no right. dumpsters. So that being said, and we're with uh Christians so their hygiene was better than most people and they took us to the safer restaurants and so forth. You know, when we left, they said um, they were amazed that we didn't get sick. Right. You know, for all the pe people that have gone there, they, you know, get sick. We didn't get sick. And I'm uh, giving it to our pr the people that prayed over us, on guard and prank. You know, we breathe it, we put it in our hands and inhale it, the on guard, many times through. Right. And uh, I think that stuff worked really good. And uh, digestion was a big hit there. <laughs> the food they eat gives you acid reflux. So people oh, yeah. really like that. And not many fresh vegetables were we were, but we probably wouldn't eat them anyway. Because, <clears throat> you know, there could have been washed with contaminated water, blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> so... I think that it's very good. Well, that's excellent, Scott. Leon, do you have anything you'd like to mention to Scott or vice versa? No, I, I am very, very impressed. And, and that, those are my expectations, too, because I travel a lot. I'm going to Israel shortly, and, and it's nowhere close to India with the open sewage. But, yes, that, that shows how effective the oils can be. And, and his hosts there were amazed that they weren't sick because... Many of the missionaries and other people who travel internationally, especially to the less developed countries, you know, a lot of times they have to exit early because, you know, somebody in their group is sick. And a lot of times if it's a leader, the whole group leaves. 
So it, it has an impact on, you know, the work they're doing. So for them to acknowledge that they were impressed that they didn't get sick and um, they were able to continue, you know, with their goals and objectives is, is, is a testament there. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that, Scott. I, I, I pray it was an outstanding trip, and I hope you can go there again soon. Yes, it, uh, we're working at the orphanage, so we'll be going again for sure. Yes, and every right. time I go to orphanage, I always bring I bring extras, and I just leave it with them. So you know, I'll bring maybe one bottle of On Guard, and I bring it back with me on the plane. But the rest of it, I just leave with them to bless them as I as I depart. So, um, yeah, if, could, Scott, if you yeah. get a chance, be talking. I'd love to be able to assist you with that orphanage. I I worked for orphanages in South Africa as well, and maybe I I, I can I can send some things your way. Okay, will do. Thanks, and, uh, Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for your call, Scott. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Well, that was quite a testimony <laughs> on to the to uh, on guard. Oh, on guard is fantastic. It, it works oh, so many ways, and because of its efficacy in in um, in prevention, then um, it's a no brainer. So. Before I go to class, before I get on the plane, a train, um, before I go to hospitals. When I'm in hospitals, I know how bad MRSA is and all the other, you know, costo, uh, custodium uh, the facilities. Um, I have a friend that she was pregnant, almost died on the on the birthing table because of C, um, C. difficile. So because of how prominent it is in the hospitals, I take it. I don't touch the, the doorknobs and the elevator keys. Because I realized that every it's just a it's just a vector factory. So when you go there, you have to you have to protect yourself and your family and everybody else that you you love. So you take the right. oils in advance. And when I'm there, I take them like every fifteen minutes. And people are like, "What are you doing?" It's like I'm not taking these bugs home with me. And they're like, "Well, can I have some?" After I educate, I'm like, "Let me." Have so when I'm I'm at the hospital, I might speak. The last time I've been to a hospital was twenty eight years ago. For myself. But I go on a quarterly basis for all the other sick people who don't know or who their parents find out about it, and they get sick, and then they're scrambling. So I go there to assist them in, in their in their hard hours. Well, that's very commendable. Uh, wow. You know, I know when I go to the hospital, I seem to get sick about one out of three visits, and I know it's coming. You know, just from being in the hospital, I pick up some little bug. Usually it's not very severe. But, uh, you know, Leon, I know right after I got my leg amputated, I've been home maybe 24 hours. I got some kind of a flu bug, and I was so sick with it and so weak that I couldn't even walk on a walker. I couldn't hold myself up. That's how bad it was. Thankfully, it only lasted about 24 hours. But... uh you know, I, I wish I had had something to treat that. And it was my own ignorance, you know, truly. It's my own ignorance, that and not knowing what was wrong with me. In fact, as I found out here recently that I probably could have saved my leg if they'd just done a culture on the wound uh, before they amputated it. But that's water under the bridge now. Not like they can put it back. I understand. Uh, let me ask you fact that- Go ahead, Leon. Yes, and, and, you know, regardless of, you know, I've, I've had people in which the doctors could not ascertain whether the bacteria or virus, which is incredible, and this is a major hospital here in Colorado, and the doctors couldn't do anything, right. so I told the woman, I, if they can't even figure out what it is after three different doctor's visits and three different um, tests, then that's when I told her to take the On Guard Plus and then the oregano and the cinnamon and do that every half hour. We're talking about for four days straight. All right. the bugs, I mean, if they can't even figure out what it is, then that, that shows you how limited, you know, the modern medicine is. But what's good about the oils, like in Genesis 129, God said, for I give you all seed-bearing plants for your benefit. And so these oils, regardless, they do not become, you can't become tolerant to them. You can't become addicted to them. There are no side effects, and with, with no shelf life, you can pass these on. You can put them in ammo cans right next to your bandages and your ammo and your night vision and everything, your Faraday cages, and stash them. Right. 
So you can have multiple locations and you have those benefits. So in her case, she was able to, to alleviate that issue just using those three oils alone. But the doctors didn't even have a clue. Should be, if it's bacterial, they can give them antibiotics. But if it's viral, there is nothing that you can take internally that's FDA approved that is a antiviral without going into the experimental phases. And then you start having right. life threatening. So, yeah, bleach kills viruses on the surface. But if it's inside your body, you can't drink bleach without killing yourself. Well, yeah. You know, the anti- I have a what's called a pick line in me right now. It's a catheter that runs from my left elbow into the superior vena copper right above my heart. And the uh-huh. antibiotics that I'm taking every day now are so powerful that I've got to take prescription strength probiotics twice a day to keep it from making me so I can't digest food. I mean, it's that right. powerful. So, it's killing every bacteria that's in my body. Yes, sir. And, and, and knowing uh, that's the case, that's, it's imperative that you, you know, once you get out of the hospital, and, and I would start doing this, make this point, when you go to a hospital, you take a whole bottle of Vine guard, and you take that every 15 minutes. Don't care if your doctor's talking. You just put it on your wrist and just keep going. He can he can blah, right. blah, blah, or she can. Just keep taking it. And I would take it an hour or two before you get there and, and hours after you get out because those bugs you're still breathing in, you're touching. I mean, and oh, also, wow. this is one thing I blow away. The doctors, they're supposed to wash their hands. They have like a, a 5 to 15 minute uh, process to wash their hand between between patients, a vast majority of them do not do that because it's inconvenient. No, they just hit that phone, but, that button on that foam dispenser and wipe it off their hands and go to, you know, go to the next person. Right. And so when you, when you talk about those probiotics, doTERRA has their own version that's scientifically proven to deliver 5 billion colony-forming units to the upper and lower intestine. They use... Um, enteric-coated capsules, so it passes through the stomach and actually right. will, and they even use chlorophyll to feed them once they open up in the upper and lower intestine. All the other companies will say, oh, we have 20 billion, but 95, 98% of them are killed by the stomach acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric uh-huh. acid in the stomach. Right. So it doesn't matter if you, it's, it's like, here. I'm going to give you something, but you only get to use 1% of it. What good is even having it if it's not effective? So it, it just shows you um, the ignorance out there. And people say, well, I eat yogurt. That's the same thing as having those other things, except for yogurt doesn't even have 20 billion colony forming units. In it. So right. um, this really ignorance has a huge impact on it. So to protect yourself, I would definitely use the oils going and coming. And when you finally get off that, the pick line, I would continue taking the oils, and once they extract it, put it both on the site where the, the injection was or where the, the perforation was, and I would be doing on guard in your case maybe once an hour for the next week or two because of how important it is because those infections you have can be life-threatening, and you've already seen how it's impacted one part of your body. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, but I, I have noticed something else, Leon. Now, they, when I was actually in the hospital, they were giving me continuous antibiotic, uh, IV treatment, <clears throat> which is fine. And, uh, but I noticed something. Once they killed off this bug, what wounds I had on my stump are healing incredibly fast. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't believe it. Of course, we are also using colloidal silver, soap, gauze, uh, which is also helping. Uh, but I, you know, I can't believe once the bug is cured how fast I'm healing up. And I just wish they'd have done this before I had my leg amputated and I'd probably be walking around right now. But what yes, sir, I know. they say? I know when I reached out to you, I, I expected you to call me back with many questions and then they, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was the, the, uh, Whatever issues were occurring, but I thought I would have heard I would have heard from you much more than I did. But you know, I was like, okay. Well, I, I, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what happened, Leon. You know, I probably I don't remember exactly. I probably went in the hospital multiple times. I know I've been in the hospital multiple times between when 
you were nice enough to give me those oils, and now, uh, it, you know, I come home to a ton of work. Uh, actually, I did have some questions, and I was going to call you, but I probably got interrupted, and I apologize for that. You know, publicly, I apologize. You have your own life, and you have your own priorities, and I understand that. My, my goal was just to help you as much as I could, and here we go again. You, you lead the horse to water, and the horse has a drink when it's ready. Well, I'll tell you, the, one of the oils I really like, which I've been putting a few drops on my pillow every night, uh, was the lavender. Boy, do I like that. And the, uh, oh, what's the name of something blue, I believe. I love yeah, the deep, smell of that one. Deep blue, yeah. That, I love that one, Leon. I truly do. Good to hear that. Um, you know, now let me ask you a question, Leon. And I think I know the answer, but I'm not sure. If people want to get some of these oils, what's the easiest way for them to do it? The easiest way is to either call me on the phone. I have an office number, and that number is 303-495-2188. That's Mountain Time. And, you know, we also have a website in which you can go through John Moore's website. And so he right. likes them to email him directly, and then he will send him his link. Either way, is if they call me, I can give them the link, and then register on the John. John gets your credit. And so either way, it is, you know, an order goes out. If it's done before 10 a.m. Mountain Time, it actually goes out that same day during the weekdays. And typically the shipment is um, 2.5 days is how long it will get to anywhere in America. And they use Sherpas, wow. which is a common post office, and UPS. So you have a tracking number, and it's only three ninety nine. And if you're a member of doTERRA, and you have it on the loyalty rewards program, you actually get free shipping because they give you the you give you free points for shipping, so you can use those for oils or whatever you like. So right, doTERRA has made it streamline it. It's now the world's largest essential oil company. Because of the purity, it's certified pure therapeutic grade, which means it's the highest quality you can get, period. It is actually beyond organic. Somebody can have an organic garden, but if their neighbor is putting out the nasty poison glyphosate, then right. their basil and potatoes, is, they are all becoming toxic. And then they eat it. But what's unique about oils are they are 50 to 70 times more concentrated than the underlying herbs. So if you have basil... Um, well, peppermint, it takes hundreds of pounds of peppermint to, to produce a bottle of oil. So when you concentrate something 70 times or 7,000%, what happens is any toxins in the air or in the water will be transferred to it. That's why doTERRA tests every batch and every liter to ensure that each one has no pesticides, insecticides, chemicals, heavy metals, there's 15 different tests, and they do it with two separate agencies. And they're the only company in the world that does that. Many other companies will say, wow. and, and they're pretty, which they, these other companies will just say, oh, if it floats, it's an oil. That doesn't show anything about purity. It just shows the ignorance that's out there. And because doTERRA right. has changed the whole face of the medical industry, um, people, 83% of Americans want Natural, or they want, they, they yearn for natural solutions first. 37% of Americans use them. So like you were doing the, the colloidal silver and others, those things right. are being implemented more and more. This, uh, essential oils are able to fill that gap. They work very well. So I just want to say thank All you right, very we much. We have a hang on for three minutes, buddy. <clears throat> we'll finish up Actually, right after this next okay. break. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in three minutes. Gentlemen, we are back. Today is Tuesday, 16th day of January, year of our Lord, 2018. 
This is Tim Spencer sitting in for John Moore, and we're visiting with Mr. Leon Green right now. Okay, Leon, we got about four minutes. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell people what you want them to know, and then that'll be the end of the show, buddy. Leon, are you there? Oh, okay, he had to take off early. Okay, I see it now. I just now saw it. I uh, thank you very much to my engineer. Okay, folks, we're about ready to wrap it up for the day. Uh, these essential oils are truly essential, in my opinion. I've got quite. I've got a collection, thanks to Leon. I've used some of them, not all of them, uh, but they. From what everybody tells me, they really work. So, uh, email John Moore. Uh, what is his email address? I'll tell you in just a second. I believe it's the Liberty Man at AOL.com, but I want to verify that. Yep, the Liberty Man at AOL.com. If you're interested in these oils, drop John an email, tell him what you want, and he'll uh, guide you from there. Okay, folks, I hope everybody's staying warm <laughs> here right now. It wind chill is minus 16. The temperature is minus 1. I do not want to go out there, but I got to here in a few minutes. So stay safe. Remember, uh, keep the exposed skin covered. If you're in one of these cold areas like we are, you can get frostbite in a half hour or less in these very bitter temperatures. So keep yourself safe. That's, you know, that's the main thing. I uh, invite you to visit John's site, which is thelibertyman.com. That's thelibertyman.com, all one word. John's got a lot of tremendous information there. A lot of good videos are on the home page. Uh, so take a look at it. I also invite you to visit my site, ruralsurvival.info, ruralsurvival.info. I said my site, but actually it's my wife and I that run it. Uh, we're going to be putting some more stuff up. She's got quite a collection of uh, good stuff to put up there, and I'm looking forward to doing it. So, anyway, folks, also I invite you to listen to the Rural Survival Show, which is on RBN on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central, 11 Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. So, uh, please, please give us a chance to uh, listen to the show once, see if you like it. I think you will. Our audience is continually growing, and we have constant call-ins. Uh, next week, it's going to be open lines both hours, and we're looking forward to having everybody on there. Uh, you'll want to listen and participate. Okay, folks, that about wraps us up for the day. I think in about one minute, the music's going to start, and I want to uh, wish everybody a very successful day and week. Look forward to uh, your calls on next Saturday on our show. And I do believe that is just about it. Uh, let me make sure that nothing tremendous is going on real quick. Uh, well, looks like that's it, folks. I don't see anything big breaking right now. Hope everybody has a great day, a great week. And uh, as John says, God bless America. Talk to you later, folks. Bye-bye.